I mentioned in my last video, I was talking about Newtonian mechanics, which, like in this video of me going down a slide in slow-mo, I have an initial point, and then I have a final destination, and uh, b between getting there, based on Newtonian mechanics, you will always be able to predict where I will be coming down the slide based on my initial position and then the forces acting on me. So the velocity in which I'm moving and then also gravity, which is what's also one of the forces acting on me. Now, we want the same exact thing, but for quantum mechanics, which right now, that's what the Schrodinger equation is. The Schrodinger equation, the way that you can measure a particle on the quantum scale, like an electron, um, where its final state is going to be, is based on something called a wave function. And the reason for this is when you have a quantum particle um, and you're observing it, what you, you literally see it, like you can't actually see where exactly it is until you that moment where you take the measurement, and then that's something different. That's why I called the a measure, the measurement equation. But the Schrodinger's equation takes a wave function, and what this is is a probability. It is literally a probability of where this electron might be, this particle, before you measure it. So um, the wave, because a wave, like you guys think about an ocean, it, can, it looks like as if it's in multiple places at once, even though it's made of particles, um, a wave function is a probability probability of this particle being in multiple places at once. So it takes the probability of the particle either having this as a result or having that as a result. It's just like my other video that I was talking about um, when I was talking about quantum mechanics because I talk about this a lot. Um, but the Schrodinger's equation is a mathematical breakdown of an electron in its initial state at time t and then um, at what you would predict its final state to be and then what goes on in between. It's, it's actual, like I said, the wave function and what would be the probability of it. So that's kind of a brief on the Schrodinger's equation. Um, I would break it all down, but I try and keep all my videos very basic. But if you guys want some more, just let me know and I will actually get my wife off board and I'll break down the equation for you guys if you want. Yeah, just let me know. <laughs>